Yesterday, I mentioned Tim Rogers on Twitter. He was saying that people who like standing desks are people who have never had a good office chair. I believe this is probably true. Lo and behold, my friend gave me a rolling chair. And let me tell you, this is not bad, man. Wow. It's nice that the back is nice and, you know, stiff so you can just... I mostly like standing, but it is very nice to be able to sit down every now and then. And I've been using a stool or this crappy red chair. Real chair, wow, imagine that. Am I going to eat burritos four days in a row? Yes, I am. Today, we're going to do the fabled video podcast at lunch. All right, here we go. Ah! Here's the thing, burritos are just, they're the actual perfect food. Pizza is kind of the perfect food, but it's a little bit too much junk food in it. Burritos just straight up have every food group in it, all wrapped up in a thing. <laughs> and you know, this is $8.30. I could make them myself. Maybe my version would have a little less salt, but when you factor in the time saving and the taste, but oh, come on, man, not bad, Chipotle. Not bad. I keep stealing all of my mom's apples. I know I should not eat the this a few months ago and then I never put it into practice. On those days where I don't want to run and I want to take it easy, I can still walk outside and get some sunshine. The temperature is also much nicer today, so it'll be a good day to walk. Problem solving. Okay, so you needed cellular capable tablets for your drivers. That's correct. And this is a generic one that was... 129. This is a Galaxy Tab that was... 214. And we're just gonna try them? What are we doing? Well, first of all, I need to get the SIM card. So she said I need the IMEI number. Right. And I need you to help me find that. This is for the drivers at the studio to use Google Maps. This one looks big enough, but this might also be really crappy. This one might be too small, but it's a Samsung Galaxy Tab, so it might be better. I'm unfamiliar with Android in general, and especially Android tablets. Although I did have an Android tablet a long time ago. The Nexus 7, just like this. It was pretty nice. Yeah, we wanted to get Apple, but they're just so expensive. They're so expensive, we can't, can't afford them. Yeah. Even used, they were <laughs> still out of our price range. Well, how much is this one? 214. The base model iPad's 330. That's out of our range. Oh, okay. Yeah, we were hoping to do like this one was 120. Mm. I mean, this might work. It might, yeah. It might. And if it does, see. then great. Especially if all you're doing is Google Maps, it's Yeah, that fun. is literally it. And phone calls. Like we could call them on that. Yeah. Cool. To be continued. Okay, and with that, let's go for that walk. I can once again report that the regular AirPods, excellent fit for my ears. I just learned recently that there's a third type of eyeball cell, which is light sensitive, and it's what helps you keep your circadian rhythm. What's interesting is that if you're inside, even in a bright room, 
you might think that you're in a very bright environment. But if you take a camera and you expose the picture so that it looks right indoors in a bright room, and then you take that outside into the sunlight, even in like kind of like the almost twilight hours right now, it is so much brighter that it almost seems like a mistake. So for the sake of your circadian rhythm, getting outside for 30 minutes in the sun probably makes a huge difference. I haven't tested that scientifically or anything. I'm sure somebody else has, but I have been sleeping quite well since I've been getting outside for a daily run. Just turn that daily run into a daily walk when I don't want to run. I think I figured it out. I've cracked the code. One good thing about going for a walk is it gives you time to think in a way that's different from running. I feel like running, there's less thinking that you can do because your mind's a little more focused on keeping you alive. So don't let my game collection or my collection of knickknacks and patty wax fool you. In general, I very much like the idea of minimalism, but I feel like minimalism is such a cliched word now. It's more like I like streamlining things and I don't like having excess. I don't want a huge collection of lenses. I just want the very best lenses that I use all the time. And I don't want 20 cameras that all do the same thing. Like right now I have two action cameras and I don't really need both of these, but this one still has really nice video quality. So anyways, I'm not thinking about that right now. But in the past, I have very much been like, yo, don't keep anything that you don't need, especially since you can always just get another one, especially if it's just a cheap thing. And if it's just sitting in your house, it's not being used by somebody else. Like, I feel like it's much better to get rid of the stuff that you have and get it to somebody who can actually use it. However, as the pandemic has shown, sometimes you can't rely on being able to just get anything. I basically gave my brother my extra computer and I gave him my 1080 Ti. So this has a 970 in it. And that's a pretty old card. And for video editing and video rendering, it's not the greatest. But this computer has a graphics card at all because this is from Andrew's old computer that we didn't sell. And because of this pandemic, I think I'm finding a better balance between keeping everything nice and streamlined and tight, but also having a little leeway in place. If you've ever wondered what these bins are, these are extra cables. This is all audio video cables. This is all computer cables. Tools over here, camera stuff here audio stuff here and miscellaneous stuff here. I keep these nice and streamlined, but this is not something you can ever get rid of. You're always gonna need miscellaneous cables. And yes, you can get them on Amazon or whatever, but it's good to just have a nice set and enough that you can always have it for extra stuff but not so much that you're just drowning in it. Now, I'm definitely not on the side of just having a bunch of clutter. People who just live in clutter, they may have everything they could ever need, but that anxiety, oh, I can't live with that, man. Anyways, my point is, I feel like I'm striking a better balance between the normal streamlining that I do, but also not going so crazy that I don't have what I need when I need it. Anyway, that'll do it for today's vlog. Thank you very much for watching. We might talk more about the computer stuff tomorrow. Um, yeah, hope you have a good one. I'll see you in the next one. Ready?